Hey. The idea of a sister is now a better time to converse. I have some time. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my cell diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. I'm sure your research isn't that bad. You are polite to say this, but if something does not change, my efforts will be mere stagnation. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. If there's a way you can do that, you should. In fact, I must. If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. I know someone that might be able to help. Dr. Amari. Please, then we must go to her and talk. Perhaps this is an impossibility, but it must be pursued. Sure. I enjoy talking with you. As do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful. But I fear I am barely holding myself together. It's all right. I'm here for you. Thank you. That means so much. Becoming a synth is just so overwhelming. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? I hope some of these inconsequential feelings involve me. Yes. No. And see, now my head goes ever more. Spin, spin, spin. You make it look so effortless, like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And the inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. Be patient. You'll work it out. In this maelstrom, it is hard to see the shore. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel... very funny. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. Maybe Do you have time? To down it is important to me. You're pretty distracting yourself. I had a point, a reason. Oh, yes. My control of feelings is worse than before. And you, you are no help. <laughs> With your teasing of poor little Curie. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment, nice hair, and I am flustered, confused. Other times, people suggest the strangest and most lurid things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? Because... You're so cute when you're confused. You are not making any of this easier, you. Oh, I must get a handle on this if I am ever to advance my experiments. <clears throat> Tell me you must have time now. I can think of better things to get excited about. Oh, that's so... No, I will not let you derail me. I beg to become a synth for a reason. For science to be able to make real progress in studying the medical arts. I have had a breakthrough. Using a new strain of mute fruit, I have discovered a way to greatly improve the restorative properties of steam packs. I realize this is not earth-shaking, 
but it means that inspiration does exist. How did you discover that? Mute fruit has a particular sugar compound that stimulates platelet production and can close wounds. Unfortunately, the plant, when grown in the wild, is irradiated and develops natural toxins to ward off pests. Strain 17 has been genetically bred in sterile conditions to remove both problems. The new pure sugar is already offering promise. Sounds handy. I can use some. Of course. You might say that our frequent escapades and injuries provided the real inspiration. And you have given me this capacity. And beyond that, so much more. The world is full of life, possibilities. You are very dear to me, my close friend. And I hope I can return the many favors you have given me. What we have between us is deeper than friendship. My very first thought in all this excitement was, I must tell you, it wouldn't feel real until I shared it with you. You know, you mean very much. Oh, I am so terrible at this. What were you going to say? I am afraid to say anything more. I feel a coward. I mean, very much what? To the Commonwealth? Back to the world? No, I, I was wrong. You're the one that's terrible. To tease me such. What do you want? From us, I mean. I do not know. I have read so many medical textbooks, but none of them covered anything like this. All I know is I want to be with you. Maybe I can take you out to dinner, see a movie, or whatever people do these days. I may be getting this out of order, but I love you. And I would like this very, very much. The world seems so very bright, and I cannot wait to see what becomes of this. <laughs>